Hello there and welcome to Sue's Paper Creations. This week I bring you my first video in a series called Simple Saturdays. Uh, my goal for these videos is going to bring you a different card each week that has taken me only 10 minutes or less to create. So very quick and simple cards that are beautiful. Um, easy to make a pile of these type of cards and just have them on hand to give out whenever you need one. So this is going to be the first card of the series, so let's get started. I have created a card using watercolor words, which is a beautiful stamp set out of the um, main annual catalog, and you can find it on page 135. It's one of our photopolymer sets. So before I get started, I did put a stamp and mat underneath my piece of paper here, just to ha add that extra um, foam spring for when we're using the photopolymer stamps, okay? So I'm going to get Sarah to reposition the camera and we will get started with the card. So for this card, you're going to need one piece of Whisper White cardstock that is going to measure three and three quarters by five. You're going to need one sheet of Basic Gray, which is going to measure four by five and a quarter. And I have got one piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is our card base. So it is eight and a half by five and a half and just scored in half, okay? Now the color combination that we're gonna be using today is going to be Sweet Sugar Plum. I've also got some Garden Green and I'm bringing in a little bit of Bermuda Bay. So those is gonna be our color combination for today. And I'm gonna get started with stamping the flowers. So for the Sweet Sugar Plum, we're gonna be using that flower image. And you can see that I've just stamped the flowers. You can do it whichever way you want. It's just kind of a random pattern in the background, but I've kind of hugged it around this bottom corner here because I wanted to keep some white space over on the opposite side, okay? So when you're stamping, you always want to make sure with these foam ink pads, um, there's a lot of ink in them, so you don't need to press too hard. I often say to everyone who comes to my class, all you have to do is tap, 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 and then just press down nice and gentle. So you wanna press it down, just hold it for three seconds, and then lift it up. And I'm gonna continue around the corner of the card here. Another one here. And a couple on the bottom. Now I want to leave a little bit of space because I am going to add a little bit of green um, accents for those flowers. So I'm going to switch my ink color here and I'm going to bring in the garden green. And I've just got the little tiny um, flower. I'm not the flower, I meant the leaf here. And I'm going to be stamping with the green don't need too many of the leaves, but I just want a little bit of accent color. I'm going to do a couple down here. And maybe one in the middle here. Okay, I think that'll do it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper. Just gonna grab a piece of our hair. Let's grab a scrap of some gray and the turquoise. So with the Bermuda Bay, I'm gonna stamp the thing on some smoky slate. And I've just got a little scrap here because we're actually going to run this through the big shot. Go. I love how it pops on that green color. Okay, I'm going to bring over my big shot. I'm going to move everything out of the way. And I'm using a circle here from a series of framelits. Let's see if I've got them here for you. Here we are. I just want to show you this set here. This is the stitch shape framelits and in here I love this set 
This is one that just came out recently before Christmas and it did sell out very quickly so they will be having it available for you I believe in the new catalog coming out um, when we get our new catalog but the reason why I like it is it's because it has your ovals your circles and a series of squares that all have a beautiful stitch detail around them so you'll be able to see that stitch detail once I run it through okay so I'm just gonna pop it on my platform and I just need my other plate. There we are. And I'm gonna run it through. There we go. And I'll get Sarah to just zoom in on that so you guys can see the beautiful stitch detail that that framelit gives. I love it. So this card is going to go together very quickly now. You've got your three main pieces and we've got our little sentiment and I'm just going to get out some glue and we're going to pop it together. So we're going to put a little bit of glue I've got on the back of the basic gray and we're just going to start our layering. So I'm going to put down the basic gray on the white base and then because there isn't a lot of layers in this and um, there's not a lot of small detail I wanted to bring a little bit of dimension to the card so I've added some dimension in between the basic gray and my focal piece here so I always use all of these um, edge pieces of the Stampin' Dimensions as well because they're just as good as the little dots that are in the middle and you don't want to waste them. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Okay, and make sure I've got my card going the right way. I'm doing this upside down for you guys here. So we're going to pop that on just like that. And then I'm going to do the same with my saying, and you can see how quick this is coming together. We'll check out how our time is in a minute, but I think we are going to be well under 10 minutes. Okay, so there's our little saying. And I love how the turquoise just pops with that bit of pink. Okay, now last little details. I'm going to be doing a quick little bow here with some stitched ribbon in the Bermuda Bay just because I wanted to bring out that turquoise color a little bit more. There we go. Do a quick tie there. That should do it. Checking things around. There we go. I'll fluff up my bow here so it's a little bit better. That should do it. Now to attach this I'm just going to use a little glue dot. And because it's a finer piece of ribbon, I take my glue dot off and I just kind of roll it in between my fingers and then I'm just going to pop it on the back of the bow and then we're going to pop it right in the corner just like that. Get all the pieces laying properly. Okay. And then a last little bit of detail is I'm going to pull in just some little accents. So on my first sample, I use the little pearls. It's actually the larger pearls in your basic uh, pearl sheet. For this one, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and we've got our enamel shapes and they come in all different colors, but they also come as well in silver and in gold. So I'm gonna use these little round circles to pop in the middle of the flowers and then we can see the difference. Okay, so I don't know which one I like more. They both look very nice, really pretty. Actually, I think I might like this one here. Anyways, you have a couple options there for accents on your card. And there is our first Simple Saturday card completed. So before I say goodbye, I just wanna remind you guys of a couple sales that are going on right now. 
Um, I did uh, talk a little bit about um, a bonus that I have for orders that are placed online when I did my um, tips uh, first Tips Tuesday uh, video, which I will be coming out with another one this coming Tuesday. But I was showing you some packages, here they are here, um, that I will be giving away with every order that is placed $50 or more on my online store using my hostess code. So in these little packages are everything that you need to make uh, four full size cards. You got your card bases, lots of layers and embellishments. And every kit will be different, um, but when you place an order online using the code, which this is the code right here for the month of February, so you just go on to my website, suephillip.stampinup.net, and you can go to the shopping center, and when um, you go to check out, you just pop this code into the section. It is on the very bottom, at the bottom left, I believe, and it just says host code. So this is the code you would put in and I would then get a message of it and I will be mailing out one of these to you in the mail. Now, this is for a $50 order. If you want to spend that extra $10, it is celebration time right now and that means more giveaways. So if you spend $60, then you would get to pick something out of this catalog here, which has tons of different stamp sets as well as packages of ribbon and papers. So you get to pick out one of those for free, okay? And just remember to pop that in with your order. And yeah, it's a really great deal right now. We are going to be releasing, so watch for it, three new items for celebration. Three new ones that are coming out, I do believe it is February 21st. There's going to be two new stamp sets as well as a beautiful set of glimmer papers. So those are those um, really sparkly shimmery papers. We already have them in your gold, um, silver and I think a champagne color as well. And this set is actually going to have some in mint macaroon. Bermuda Bay and the Sweet Sugar Plum and they will be six by six sheets and you will get four of each color so 12 of them so that is a great freebie for celebration so that's going to be coming out February 21st um, and I think that's all I've got for today I wanted to show you two other very quick cards that I made from the stamp set that also took me less than 10 minutes so I couldn't decide which one to show you today as I was making them but I thought I would share with you the other two. So this is, this is a set again, the watercolor word. And this is a card that I made, again, hearts in the background and then use love for the summit. And these are those little enamel dots, little heart ones, okay? And then there was one other one here. And this is you're the best, that used the star. And again, we've got some silver um, enamel shapes on there. Okay, so that's what I've got for you for this Saturday. Um, check in with me on Tuesday as I again share another tip with you. And then I will be back again the following Saturday to create another card in 10 minutes or less. Thanks for joining me.